happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up with Kempson. Today, it is a beautiful Saturday morning in Surrey, and it is the first day of the cross-country season. So today, we'll be heading to Richmond Park. Southwest London, back in my old ends for the first race of the season for my club, Belgrave Harriers, in the Surrey League as well. I've done the Surrey League for a few years now. It's a right laugh. The men's and women's teams get really stuck in and Belgrave as a club are well up there and we'll head to the pub for a few beers afterwards. But before any of that, the first thing we need to do on race day when the race is in the afternoon, after midday, is get out for a shakeout jog. You've probably heard people do these before and you're probably thinking, what the hell is the point of that? For me, it's probably more a mental thing than physical thing, but I'm just going to head out the door now for a quick 10 minute jog, then we'll get back, get the coffee on the go and crack on with breakfast. Okay, shakeout run done. About what, 10 minutes? Um... 7.30 MR. Now I've got to get some breakfast, get some coffee, pack the bag, get the dog sorted because I'm taking the dog today and then crack on because I'm running late. So let's go. Right, well, we're well into it, lads. Did the breakfast, did the kit. It was absolute mayhem at home, so I didn't actually film any of it. But anyway, we're now waiting for the bus because Vic's taken the car this morning. She's stolen it because, uh, coincidentally, she's got a conference in Richmond Park, which is where the race is today, so it's worked out quite a touch. So I'm going to get the bus to Bagshot, then I'm going to get a train from Bagshot to Richmond, and then Vic's going to come pick me up. In the meantime, I'm on the hunt for a coffee, and I've got this little nugget with me, who is probably one of the best trained dogs that me and Vic have ever looked after. This is Mishka. Oh, we've had a morning, lads, I'll tell you that. So, I got on the bus, and then because, obviously, Mishka was running around like a blue ass tart, um, and this woman just wanted to stroke her. It was like her life's goal to stroke this dog. I was focusing on her too much, and I missed my stop. So then I had to walk back 20 minutes, miss my train. So that means we're now gonna get to Richmond half an hour later, which does leave us a little bit tight. Right, we have been picked up. Here she is. Oi, oi! We're running a little bit late. It's, five, it's, it's one o'clock and the race kicks off in 62 minutes. Let's get a warm up in, get the number pinned on, and then it's go time. What are you saying? <laughs> you gotta eat me. I've done this race last year. It's a fast course. I was 31st last year and I averaged like 520 a mile, so it's fast. I mean, the boys at the front will be five flats. I went off far too fast and I died the second lap. So the tactics today, Go off well slow, hang back, and then the second lap, business. So they always have these race plans, and then they seem to go out the window within the first 100 meters. But I am determined to go off slowly today and run a first lap, where by the end of it, I'm like, fucking oh, come on. After a little warm up jog, gonna do two miles. I missed the team warm up, so they're out. There's a crew somewhere in the park. There's a black cloud above me right now that looks a bit, Suspect. This is a two lap course, just over five miles, so it's 8.5k. I remember last year I went up far too fast, and by the end of the first lap, I was already gassed. So I really want to pick people off in that second half because a lot of people go off too fast in cross country races. I do better when I go off a little bit slower and progress. So that's the aim today. How short are those shorts, though? What I'm going to say is, the weather forecast says the balls might be flopping.
So, how are we doing? That's a great angle, that. That's, yeah, wonderful. Thanks, Sam. I don't know where we finished. I don't know where. I think it's going to be touch. Oh, shit. It's going to be touch and go. Um, try and make sure that bollocks ain't in the shop. It's going to be touch and go where the Belgrave got the win between us and Wimbledon. But my run, I'm very happy. I ran very well for where I'm at at the moment. It's far better than uh, I have been running. Um, what was it? 5.28 miles, and I averaged 5.18 a mile. Which cross country is also cross country, but yeah, solid, really solid. I think I moved up from the low 40s into the low 30s in the second lap, so decent race. I'll get in those 20s. How are you Look at your belly. Look at your belly. Sounds like buddies. Yeah. <laughs>